on tonight's This Week in Politics. If you look at it on an annual basis, we grow by about 200 to 500 students per year. We're less than a month away now from a school bond election in the city of Sioux Falls. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. $190 million is on the line, money that will be used to fund the construction of three new schools for the Sioux Falls District. Superintendent Dr. Brian Maher, on the job for just shy of four years, says he is pushing this because it is vital to the health of the district and the region. When voters in the Sioux Falls Public School District go to the polls a little more than three weeks from now, they will be voting on one plan that contains four important elements. There are really four pieces to the, to the bond issue. For that $190 million, there are four outcomes. One is a new high school, one is a new middle school, one is a new uh, elementary school, and then there are, are between 40 and $50 million worth of safety, security, accessibility, and equity upgrades across the district. Maher is spending these final weeks before the vote answering as many questions as he can about the school bond issue. $190 million is a lot of money. If voters approve the school bond plan, the district would essentially sell bonds that investors would buy. Over time, the school district would pay those investors back with some interest. How would the district pay it back? Maher says it would be through a small bump in property taxes for district residents. For example, the average value for a home in the Sioux Falls Public School District is right around $185,000. That median priced home will pay $2 a month or $24 annually for uh, a high school, a middle school, an elementary school, and those upgrades to 14 buildings in the district. But why is Maher and the school district making this move now? Is it to fix an existing problem, or is it an effort to head off a future problem? Well, b well both. Uh, really good question. So one of the things that we get a little bit of grief over is, why didn't you do this last year, or two years ago, or three years ago? Because we're, we're way over capacity in a few of our buildings. Uh, but if we don't address the issue now, the, the, problem, the problem will get worse. So uh, really the, the issue is one that needs a, a addressed and needs addressed right now. I asked Maher to tell me how bad the problem is right now. He used as his example Roosevelt High School on the city's west side. It was built for a capacity of 1,800 students. But currently there are 2,300 students enrolled at Roosevelt. And Maher says the district can't just transfer students to Washington or Lincoln because they are over capacity as well. And then Maher says there is a problem at Memorial Middle School too. Memorial Middle School with over 1,300 students is actually bigger than every high school in the area with the exception of Roosevelt, Lincoln, and Washington. It's bigger than Brandon Valley High School. It's bigger than Harrisburg High School. It's a very, very large middle school. And you might think, well, you can move those kids to, to any other of our middle schools. But actually, Whittier, Patrick Henry, and Edison are all overcrowded as well. In fact, the only middle school we have room uh, for more kids is at McGovern Middle School. The overcrowding problem we have in Sioux Falls didn't crop up overnight. It's the result of a building problem that started a generation ago. Between 1990 and 2017, the Sioux Falls School District has grown by upwards of 8,800 students. If that increase was considered its own school district, it would be the third largest in the state. And that growth spurt isn't slowing down one bit. If you look at it on an annual basis, we grow by about 200 to 500 students per year. So if you project that out over the next five years, we anticipate over the next five years that we'll grow by at least another 1,000 students in the next five years. And as new residents move to town and new homes and new businesses are built, Maher tells me it stands to reason that now new schools must be part of the equation. And, and the greater Sioux Falls area will, will continue to grow. You know, we're not the only school district that has growth issues. So you, you only need to look to T or any number of other districts in the area and know that everybody's growing. Um, I think maybe because we're the largest district in the area, we get a, a, little, more, a little more attention, but um, without a doubt, uh, we're, we're growing and we're growing quite rapidly. Still to come on This Week in Politics. The, the growth is what it is. Those numbers aren't made up numbers. Would Sioux Falls economy suffer if these new schools aren't built? We'll take a closer look at that idea when we come back right here on KSFY. <laughs>